So, we're recording. So, Capricorn. Everyday life, profession. The opposition of Mars in Cancer to Pluto in Capricorn on the very last degree indicates a theme of assertion where you have the upper hand. Mars in Cancer feels small and powerless against Pluto in Capricorn. However, Pluto is on the move in Aquarius and will have to let go of a lot in the end to make room for the new, freer life. All of this is now in the air, in dense concentration. It has a dramatic character, but there is also a promise, a hope, something meaningful, fulfilling, and ultimately feelings of happiness. Venus and Jupiter are still held in check by Saturn this week, but that will soon change. You've had threshold experiences time and again in the past. This one now could be the absolute threshold, the biggest you've ever experienced. All the previous ones serve to prepare and attune you to it. The many planetary connections indicate a high level of awareness. You are taking every single step, anything but rashly. You are aware of the implications. Now, relationship love, Mars and Pluto are on the axis of encounters and relationships. The significant changes have to do with a deep connection. You don't resolve something like this overnight, but now is the time if you've been working towards it. In any case, the opposition of Mars and Pluto will be exact on Sunday. On Sunday, the moon and Mercury will be in Sagittarius, the sign of high hopes, and the two lucky planets, Venus and Jupiter, will be in promising opposition. Yeah. So that's my rising. Now my son, S-U-N, Cancer. Mars and Cancer now also receives support from Mercury and the new moon in Scorpio, second half of the week. Therefore, it has even more strings to pull. Use this opportunity to steer situations with sense and understanding. If you accept this task, you will grow enormously. Your fears will disappear and you can take on even more responsibility with joy. An excessive demand turns into a task that you can solve. You can also accept help from other people. The world is so complex that people need each other for particular tasks. You have many good contacts you can make use of. Venus and Sagittarius promises appreciation if you don't shrink from responsibility. That's Saturn. The whole thing looks like a threshold situation that catapults you into a new era and sense of self-worth, Cancer. You have the best prerequisites for mastering this threshold. Relationship love. Venus in Sagittarius has a Saturn obstruction. Yes, yeah, Venus opposing Saturn. Oh, exciting. Mars in Cancer has a Pluto obstruction. It's good to realize that no one has it easy now, even if it looks that way. Nothing can go wrong if partners treat each other with respect and consideration. So you shouldn't assume that you have it the hardest and deserve more sympathy than the other person. Everyone has to carry their own baggage. Cancer. All right. And then my moon is Libra. And I've got a lot of Libras in my life. I don't know if the music is too loud. Oh well. All right, Libra. Now the planets are getting a lot of connections. However, the lucky planets, Venus and Jupiter, are again left out and burdened by Saturn. Again, the most substantial emphasis is on the water element, mainly when the Scorpio new moon occurs on Thursday and Friday. It looks like fears are taking away your joy and your hope. 
These are primary, primarily fears of loss. At the same time, this new moon is an opportunity to escape your worries and feel your strength and power anew. You are not helplessly at the mercy of others, but you have tools that you have learned to use in your life. The element of water is about psychological talent and empathy. By understanding human needs, you can forgive and offer peace. Then you won't get stuck in self-pity. Use your talents. Show understanding when no one expects it anymore. Be the surprise you are waiting for. A surprise will come your way if you procrastinate for a long time. Then you no longer have anything in your hands and can only react. Relationship love. The constellations around Mars and Venus look complicated. Both love planets are entangled in something. We'll hardly get out of it this week. At least the weekend shows light, the end of the tunnel, the moon and Mercury in Sagittarius. Until then, you should handle your strong emotions as wisely as possible, especially on Thursday when the moon enters a tension aspect with Mars and Pluto. It's a square. Thursday. Beware Thursday. All right. So that's my rising, my sun, and my moon. Now let's do someone else I know who is a Libra sun, a rising Aquarius, and um, Virgo moon. So you read all three. So I'll start with the Aquarius rising. And this is at the end of Aquarius. So Aquarius and Pisces, it's on the cusp. So I would say they both apply. All right, Aquarius. I have to turn this down. Let's start. 